What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm not really sure the order of these videos. Right now I'm working on the E90. I'm waiting for parts to come in. So while I wait, I am going to do the bumper for the E90. Like I said, I don't know what order these are going in. So I don't really want to spoil anything for the E90. It's nothing special, but I just want to save that for a whole other video. I'm going to be using this stand that I used for painting the flares and the hood and all the other stuff for the Subaru. So I'm going to take all the boxes off. I'm going to set the paint in the sun so they start warming up. I think I'm going to wet sand the bumper. It's ready, I think, for paint, but I think I'm still going to wet sand it. And then we will get to working on painting it. There's a couple of things that I need to do to that bumper before we start painting it. One, being sanding. Two, taking the fog lights off. And there's got to be one more in there. I can't really think of, but I'm going to set this up real quick. I'll show you guys the bumper just so you know more or less what we're doing. And... We'll go from there. Here's the bumper. I think I'm going to spray it like this. I don't think I want to lay it flat again because like this, it can get all the sunlight. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to give it a quick wash, probably tape off the grill pieces so that I don't paint these unless I can pull them off, which it seems like I might be able to by pulling off these two screws. But I need to take the fog lights off and to do that, I need to take off those two screws. And then same thing over here. I have to take that grill off. This center grill looks like it has some tabs around that I just need to pop out and that grill should come off. So I think that's what we're gonna go with instead of actually taping up the grill because that's just gonna be a lot more work. Bro, I don't know why my luck has been so bad lately with cars. Like why, I don't, I don't get why it's been this bad. Check out what just happened. I came over here to the 46 to get sandpaper and I come to find this is broken. And I found this laying over there on the ground. There's nothing missing, so I can't say that somebody broke into the car. There's all of that clear coat right there. So I really want to say that can blow up. And now I have no rear window. I don't know why this has been my luck. The Subaru has a rod knock. This thing has issues as well. Like, why? Whatever, I guess. Uh, I'll go to the junkyard tomorrow and pick one up because I need the car to get to work. That's been my daily. So I am going to go pick up another glass tomorrow and we'll slap that on. But I still can't believe that that happened. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We are hitting with the 400 first. We're just gonna go around the bumper because it has some bugs and some dirt and stuff all over the bumper. So we're gonna go over with the 400. Then we'll hit it after with the 600. That should be enough grit to catch the paint. Well, actually the primer and then so it could sit after we prime it I'm going to sand it down again just to smoothen out all the imperfections on primer and then we'll go ahead and paint I still got to pull everything off so I should probably do that first <laughs> Okay, so I just got everything off. I'm going to clean it with a scotch Brite, and I think I have my degreaser back there. So I'm going to go through with some purple power, the scotch Brite, clean up all the cobwebs and all the dirt. We probably will get most of the bugs off of this bumper. And then we will start sanding, like I said, with the 400 and the 600. I'm not gonna rush this. I want this one to turn out nice. So I'm going to let the primer sit for about two hours. And later tonight, it's like 5.30 right now. So later in like three or four hours, I will come out here, wet sand it, and then I will do probably the first layer of paint, let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow morning, do the second layer, if I have enough paint. And then we will clear it tomorrow as well. Bumpers all sanded down. I got most of the imperfections. You can see a lot of these rock chips and bug chips. So I got a lot of those out. Now I'm going to wait for this to dry. Sitting in the sun, it should dry fairly quickly and we will start primering as soon as it dries. I think I'm ready to start priming. I'm going to do one light coat and then we will come back and do a heavier coat, but it feels really smooth. I think I got a lot of these imperfections out. So this should be a lot better than the flares. The flares were really bad, but I sanded these and these are a lot smoother and I don't feel any imperfections in it. So we should be fine to start spraying.
So it seems like I did not have enough primer on the rattle can to finish. There's black spots there. This didn't get primed very well. And either way, I can see the streaks. I mean, you could see them a little bit as well on the camera. But I know for a fact up here, you can see those darker spots. Basically, the rattle can was not enough. So I'm going to say the Touch Up Direct was not the right kind of primer for this. Because, like I said, there was a lot of streaking and a lot of missed spots. Because this was not, for one, not enough. And two, it did not have the right fan. As you can see, there's an adapter on the clear coat. And on the actual color, there's an adapter so that it sprays horizontally and flat and wide. And the primer did not have that. So... I am going to use my gun and primer. I have a little bit of primer left from when I did the Subaru. I'm going to primer just a bit. I don't have a lot to do. I'm going to primer just a bit with the gun and then we will let it cure and we'll start painting tomorrow. Like I said, I don't wanna rush this. I want this one done right. The more the primer sits and the more I look at it, the more streaks I can see. So definitely was a good idea that we picked up the gun to do the Subaru and we didn't pick up rattle cans. I am going to bust out the gun, set the time lapse, and we will get to spraying the bumper. So there's a bumper all painted. I actually went over it a couple times because it seemed like there were some spots where it didn't pick it up very well. So it's got like three coats of primer, but I went over it and I don't see any imperfections. I see like a little bit of dark spot right there, but nothing too bad. Everything else looks really even. I'm not sure if it's my gun or what it is, but you can see wrinkles in the primer, which is really weird. It's supposed to be filler primer, so I can understand maybe it being too thick, but still, I don't know what all these wrinkles are about. I can sand them out and they'll be smooth later, but it's just really weird. And it's really hard to clean. I gotta head up to Tristan's because he's gonna help me clean the gun. I hope he can show me how to clean these guns because last time I cleaned it wasn't very good. And so I tried to spray today and it was kind of stuck. So hopefully he can give me a good trick on how to clean that out. He's currently busy on his build. You guys have not seen it. So we're going to head up there. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek on what's going on up there, but I'm not going to get too in depth. Let's head up there right now. So yeah, um, there's a lot going on here. I'm not gonna explain much. If you guys want to know exactly what's going into this, I want you guys to go to Tristan's channel. I'm gonna have it linked on either side of the screen. It's gonna be on that annotation up there. Yeah, as you guys can see, we have to pull the engine. The transmission's chilling here. I will tell you guys, this, this is getting bigger turbos from there forward. You guys are gonna go have to check out his channel. He's getting bigger turbos, but like I said, from there, go check out his channel. You guys will see exactly what's going on to this. This is gonna make quite a bit of horsepower once it's done. A lot more than what it was putting down. So if you guys are interested, I know quite a few of you guys are into these like E90s, go check out his channel. I'll make sure to either put it up on the annotations or in the description. There she is, all primed and ready for paint. I am going to start wet sanding this. I think I'm just gonna wet sand it with 600 grit and then I'm gonna clean it off. We'll start painting here in a little bit. I have to go run and get that window for the E46. So while I go do that, I want the paint to dry so I can come back, throw it on the car. But for right now, like I said, I got a wet sand with 600 so that I can paint here in like 30 minutes. I hope that the spray can works. Like you guys saw, the primer didn't work very well, but I really wanna say that the tip that is on the spray can will work a lot better, but you never know. So the wind decided to start picking up. 
so I can't really paint. I don't really want to because I know it's going to run, it's going to smear, and it's going to look really bad. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to go get that window for the 46 I'm going to wait and hopefully later today the wind stops. I did get a light layer around the car. I didn't know which way the fan was, but honestly that tip sprays so nicely. I really like how that tip sprays. Everything's really nice and even. If I need more paint, I know where to find more paint and I have my paint gun over there. So if I really do need more paint, I'm not really worried. I know where to get more paint. But I think this spray can should be enough. Hopefully this turns out nice. We already got a bug on there. Get off please. I sprayed a little too much right there. So hopefully that doesn't run. And then once we're done painting, we'll go back and wet sand with a very light wet sand, probably like a 2000 grit just to smoothen it out to make it glossy. You can see how wide that fan is. So that, I think that can's gonna work really well. I'm sure you guys can hear the tree from the wind. So I'm going to put this aside. I'll do this later. I'm gonna go run and get the window for the 46 because I need that taken care of. What's up guys? So it's actually been about a week later since the last clip. So I don't have enough paint for the bumper. I thought that that can would be enough and it wasn't. I do have a little bit left, but it's definitely not gonna be enough to finish even half of the bumper. So I'm gonna have to order more paint. I think I'm just gonna end the video because either way, I don't wanna order paint, wait like two, three weeks, and then finally get the paint and the video just be all scattered all over the place. I already have three videos started and none of them about to finish. So I'm gonna finish this one at least. I'm still waiting on parts for the E90 for the other video. Like I said, I think the other video is gonna go up after this one. So stay tuned for what's going on with that i'll explain in another video and either way honestly i'm not really happy with the way the primer got primed on it's just really it was really thick i don't think it sprayed on right and it was really rough i tried sanding it down but it seemed like after i sanded it down i sanded back down to the plastic so i don't think that it was a good job. I'm gonna have to completely restart. I'm not really satisfied with the paint. I really wanted this bumper to come out good because last time that I painted, it was a Subaru and I did not do a very good job. So before I finished this one, I wanted to come out good. So I'm going to completely sand this bumper down again, get it smooth and I'll prime it one more time. But like I said, that's gonna be a whole different video. I just wanted to end this one. I did not want to end it because I did not finish the bumper, but also like I said, one, the primer was really bad. I did not mix that properly or something. And two, I don't have enough paint. I don't know if I want to go with Touch ID again or if I want to order paint from the same place that I ordered the paint for the Subaru. But I definitely have to order more paint for this bumper because this bumper is not going to look good if I finish the rattle can. It seemed like as I was running out and as I was getting through, the paint was sticking to that like tip, to the fin. This bumper didn't get done this week and I cannot really throw it on the car. Yeah, I wanted to end the video. I really need to end the video because I have not uploaded in like a couple weeks now. So I guess I'll upload this one. It's a bit of a fail, but I also wanted to update you guys. I really don't like going a while without uploading. I don't like going a while without uploading, basically. That's just it. For right now, I'm gonna end this video. It sucks I did not finish a project. I hate not finishing a project and uploading. But also, I don't like going weeks on the same project and on the same video. Usually I've only gone two, three days. This time I've gone about a week and a half stay tuned guys i am trying my best to upload i've got a lot going on as well life's crazy right now if you guys like the video by any chance go down and hit that like button go and send me some inspiration motivation down in the comment section below i'm gonna need it hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one